Android phones work best if you have a Doodle Mail account, but they're equally as powerful if you want to use your email from another provider. Normally, setup is as simple as entering the email address and the password, but if that doesn't work, you'll need to use the manual setup, and this is what we'll explain to you now. It is helpful if you have on screen or on paper before you the various server settings that you need for your email, and this should be easy to find in the webmail help. Turn on your phone, unlock it and open the email app. If you haven't already entered an account it will ask you for the username and password. Enter these and tap on manual setup. Tap on the correct account type. Check the username. Some accounts need the at and the following text, so we'll add it here. Tap in the server box and enter the correct server details. Tap in the port box and enter the correct number. This will normally be either 110 as here, or 995 if secure access is used. Scroll the window and select the correct form of security if required. I recommend leaving this bottom option as it is. We don't want the phone to delete emails from the server. Tap on next and the phone will check the settings. And if everything is okay, it will show the outgoing server settings. Just like the incoming server, check and edit the server name, port number and any security settings. Scroll down and double check that sign in is selected and that the details are correct. They're normally fine to leave as they are. Tap next and the phone will check these settings as well. By default, the phone will check for emails every hour, but you can change this with this menu if you want. Tap on next. Enter a name for the account so you can identify it, and enter your name as you want it to appear to people getting emails from you. Tap on done, and the phone will connect to your email service and download your messages.